Assalamualaikum from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tuku Mohonok Forest Petra and as for today, we are proud to present to you our new innovation in food technology which is utilizing corn waste to produce corn cob powder. Corn has already fed the human being about 7,000 years ago in Mexico and now it still remains as the most consumed plant in the world where it takes 19.5% of calorie intake globally followed by rice. Corn can be consumed in many ways, flour, tortilla, popcorn, and your everyday breakfast, cornflakes. Everyone, all of these foods from corn are from the kernel, which is, surprisingly, takes up only 22% of corn composition. So, where are the rest 78% go? 78% of this part of corn is corn waste and usually were thrown away by corn manufacturers and farmers because they believe that all of this cannot be consumed. Today, we are going to deny that fact. There is a part of corn called the cob, or generally, it called as corn cob, where it takes 11% of corn composition. This is the only part that humans don't consume in corn. In this project, we bring that 11% of corn composition, which is corn cob, to the real talk. This thing is totally edible. Corn cob found to be rich in nutrients, especially fiber, and everyone knows that fiber plays an important role for our digestion system. Plus, it is really nutritious. So, if 11% of this corn cob is utilized to produce food, 130 million metric tons of corn waste can be reduced. For your information, in 2017, the production of corn globally is reaching 1.19 million metric tons and that's a lot of corn. 70% of this huge number and then 120 million tons of waste and they said all of this cannot be consumed today. Besides, many corn cob are underutilized and are not used to its maximum potential such as being used as fertilizers and animal food. Even though corn cob is rich in nutrients such as dietary fiber, it still haven't been used in the food industry as a cooking ingredient. A whole grain of corn has variety of photochemicals. These photochemicals could lower the risk of chronic diseases such as hypertension and high cholesterol. Afterwards, it also has unique profiles of nutrients and photochemicals, including vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Not only those, it also has variety of minerals, including magnesium, phosphorus, and sodium. Thus, more and more scientific evidence has shown that regular consumption of whole grain of corn could lower the risk of developing chronic diseases on us. So what are the objectives of our project? First, to investigate products that can be produced from corn cob powder. Third, to determine the score of acceptability of the product by using sensory evaluation. Lastly, to foster and encourage people to love our environment by reducing waste. So, how exactly we make a biscuit from a corn waste? Of course, the essential ingredient here is a corn cob powder, so let's prepare it. The first step is to make sure that the corn cob is free from kernel. Secondly, cut the corn cob into a small pieces using a sharp knife. Then, put it in the oven with 70 degrees Celsius for 4 hours so that we could dry the water moisture in the corn cob. Then, blend it until it became like a texture of a flour. The last step is to sieve the corn cob powder so that we could only obtain the small particles only. Now that the corn cob powder is ready, so let's move on to the corn cob biscuits. Firstly, beat the butter 
and brown sugar together until it erases for 3 minutes. Add vanilla essence for some flavor and egg, then beat it again. Secondly, mix the cocoa powder, flour, soda bicarbonate and baking powder together. Next, add gradually the mixture in a little amount. Then, we have to use the spoon to put the dough in a tray and press the dough with a spoon. Cover it with a baked dough. The last step to prepare the corncob biscuits is to bake the dough in the oven with 170 degrees Celsius heat for 7 minutes. For the result, the corncob powder comes out smoothly as expected and the texture really similar to food product that comes in powder form in the market. For the corncob powder, the final particle size that we are able to sieve is at 425 micrometer using the sieve at that size. We also found that 26.4 gram of corncob powder, which is the dry weight, is able to produce 33 gram of corncob, which is this means the moisture content inside the corncob is 20%. To test out how this corncob powder takes place in our food, we have baked some biscuits and the biscuits were given to our friends for their survey as our feedback. The outcome is positive where everyone agrees that this biscuit is like an ordinary normal biscuit. They didn't even notice that corncob powder was added into the biscuits. Only a few of the respondents can detect the presence of the corncob powder in the biscuits. Some of them said that it added the crunchiness texture to the biscuit. Hence, we can conclude that the final product of our biscuit tastes just like the ordinary biscuits in the market. It is crunchy and well accepted by the respondents, but most importantly, it is delicious too. As for this project, we expected that we are capable to produce a healthy and low-cost food product, especially from corn waste. Next, we also hope that this product could be acceptable to the global food marketing industries and will have a high potential of success in being commercialized. Then, we are hoping the biscuits will have a high demand by consumers around the world in terms of its good quality, delicious taste and its economic prices. Lastly, the biscuits which is produced from corn waste should be safe and yet nutritious for consumption. We believe that this project can go further in the food industry because corncob powder holds a massive amount of commercial potential. This powder is able to emerge in the market as new ingredients or even more further can replace the standard ingredients. It is also rich in nutrients, especially the tree fiber which give us health benefits. Corn cob powder is absolutely eco-friendly. We do not need to grow corn for the cobs because we are using the waste from the corn industry. Thus, this can reduce the amount of waste around the world. As the conclusion, corncob is that 11% of people's seed waste found to be edible at the end of the day. If this corncob will be utilized in the future, human being is able to maximize this 7,000 year staple food beyond and 130 million metric tons of corn waste, which is corncob, can be reduced annually. Some suggestions that we will carry out in the future is maybe adding oats and raisins to our biscuits, therefore creates a go-to breakfast food and can be consumed by students before going to school or even by adults before getting off for work.